Today I'm going to show you what I use to build my own spotless car wash or rinse system. You will need two Pentec number 10 big blue filter housings, two mounting brackets for the big blue filter housings since they don't come with them, two Hydronics Universal white empty water filter cartridges, a Dixon BA776 brass fitting 3 quarter inch garden hose thread male to 3 quarter inch NPTF male. A Dixon 504-1212 brass garden hose thread female swivel to 3 quarter inch NPTF male. A 4 foot hose leader. Anywhere from 1 to 3 of these 3 quarter inch by 3 inch nipples. Lag screws and washers for mounting the filter brackets to the filters themselves. Five pounds of DI resin. And a TDS meter to keep an eye on when it's time to replace the resin. Wrap all male threads with Teflon tape to help prevent leaking. Connect the out of one filter to the in of the other filter using a 3 quarter by 3 inch nipple. There are a lot of threads so you can get them tight and then adjust to get them in the same direction. This is what you're going to get when you open up the Hydronics Universal empty water filter cartridges. I'll show you how to assemble this later. Fill the first cartridge with DI resin, then gently tap the bottom on a hard surface to settle the resin. The key is to get the resin as tightly packed as possible. Repeat as needed, getting as much resin in as possible while leaving some space at the top for the foam. This is not enough resin to fill both canisters completely, so just put what's left into the other cartridge. The rubber washer goes into this little groove to provide a watertight seal to the top of the filter housing. Place the cartridges washer side up into the blue filter housings. They are generally self-centering. Just watch and guide as needed when screwing the housing to the cap. I put the tightly packed resin in the left canister, which is the input side. On the output filter is where you will place the 3 quarter male by garden hose thread female adapter to attach your wash hose. If this is all you need or want, you would put the other brass adapter on the left filter and attach the hose leader to this and the faucet. Here's my optional equipment for if you have especially hard water or you have water with chlorine or chloramines in it as both of these can destroy your DI resin rather quickly. You will need one of these filters if you have hard water but no chlorines or chloramines or have soft water but have chlorines or chloramines or you will need two of these filters if you have both hard water and chlorines or chloramines. If you have chlorines or chloramines, this carbon filter will save the life of your DI resin. The filters come with 30 micron sediment filters, but I upgraded to these 5 micron sediment filters. The 3M filters come with mounting brackets and screws to mount the top of the filter to the bracket, but they don't have screws to mount the bracket to a surface. This is where the lag bolts and washers come in. The lag bolts work on the big blue canisters to mount the housing to the bracket and the bracket to whatever you want to mount them to. Some people make this setup portable. Stainless steel lag bolts and washers are recommended since you are working around water. As you saw in the last picture, I used a piece of 2x6 to mount the assembly. The size difference between the big blue and 3M filters meant I had to stack another piece of 2x6 behind the 3M filters to get everything to align. I used two 3.5 inch screws to hold the 2x6s together and these to mount everything to wall studs. They aren't in perfect alignment, but for me, this is pretty darn good.
This is the flow from the spigot through the four foot leader directly into a bucket. Here's the TDS reading from that bucket. This is the flow through all the filters plus 50 feet of coiled garden hose which may or may not have a kink or two in it. But as you can see this is plenty enough flow for me to power my pressure washer through and it not be starving for water. Here's the TDS reading through the filtered water. I originally tried using these little guys to mount the filter housings together to save some space, but they were too small and the filter housings ran into each other before they were tight. That's why I recommend using the three inch connectors. Does mine leak a little bit around the connections? Yeah, on one or two of them, but nothing some tinkering around couldn't fix. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was useful and I'll post links to all this stuff down in the bottom.